Greetings everyone, my name is Napoleon Complex and today we're going to be fighting the Gustavus Adolphus campaign in 1632. So this is, was Gustavus Adolphus' famous intervention during the uh, Thirty Years' War and he very nearly brought the empire down. Uh, here's a bit of a blurb if you want to read about it and let's go for it. Now we're going to be playing as a Swedish first of all, I'm going to be playing on automatic just to make it a bit more of a challenge. We've got a little bit about the start of the campaign, but I think, let's see, can I turn these tutorial messages off? Turn helper messages off, please. Thank you. Okay, and then let's go. All right, so we are the Swedish. We, are, we still have a slight Catholic advantage. A uh, slight Catholic advantage. We're only a slight disadvantage, despite the difficulty level. So do I know what this army's made up of? So we've got some pike and shot, okay, they are not great, to be honest. The Swedish salvo foot is the main thing. We've only got one unit of Swedish salvo foot. We've got some commanded shot. Let's see. Yeah, we've got the famous, well, we've got this veteran horse, which is the famous Swedish horse. And then we have some some more regular horse units. So yeah, I could have sworn the, the Swedish had access do some elite finish units. I might be remembering that wrong. I have played this campaign before. Okay, similar idea here. Maybe a little bit of variation. Right, where do I want to go first? We've got this unit in reserve. That would make two armies. I'd actually outmatch, overmatch them at that point. So if we can march through to Frank, oh. I forgot you can't move both units in at first, you have to match them up, which means we are now attacking at a disadvantage. Uh, so, well, this is going to be a fun start to the campaign. Let's see if I can uh, avoid getting my foot cut off just as I put it through the door. So we are going to be substantially outnumbered. So I think it's probably best to be dropping a defensive position. That hell looks interesting. So the enemy are opening <laughs> fair and open battle. There's nothing fair about this. Right. Now I do at least have three units of salvo that's in this army, which is more than I was expecting. Problem is that this is an impact based army, so I want to get into melee. If we can climb up the hill and then charge down it, that will put us in a decent position. Uh, I do have some skirmishers. We'll mass them on the left. They might be able to harass the enemy as on the side. And yep, the pike and shot. We do at least have a very high quality army. Since we are trying to push everyone up onto the hill, let's deploy in that area. And I'll deploy my pike and shot with light guns away from that, so that my Swedish shallow foot can do the majority of the fighting. The horse, I'm not sure what to do with. Um, stick them with, behind the rest of the army, I suppose, and yep, let's get into it. So thankfully for us, there's no quick response from the Catholic army. So I do have time to take that key terrain. Now the major, okay, looks at two units of veteran horse. They are going to be very dangerous. There will be more cavalry over here. I just can't see them yet. Let's move up to here. There we go. We're already revealing the enemy army. Right, now we can see them properly. Their cavalry is weaker over here. Two units of horse and the arc viziers. Uh, my pike and shot and pike and shot with light guns should be able to handle that readily. So I think our path to victory is fairly clear here. Break the left flank and the right will scatter. So we'll start moving up now. And what I may do is after taking the mountain, if they're still not moving, I'll move to here and try to take them on here on this position. Keep the horse together, we don't want to uh, divide our already small forces. We have to concentrate on one flank and break it. Okay. 
See, their commander truck doesn't have light guns. The guns may be a problem because there's nothing I can do about them. Right, it's our turn again. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Sure, get into blasting range. That was really more of a. Uh, well, it wasn't really blasting, was it? It was more like a light showering. Get the, keep the cavalry moving. These Arc Viziers won't be quite as tough as the Determined Horse. Interesting choice of target. Right. See if we can provoke a half volley. Good. That means I can advance to here, and if they stand their ground, I may be able to move in for a flank attack in the next couple of turns. Meantime, our infantry finish moving up onto the hill. Hmm. Looking at this. We'll need to form up lines next turn. And the cavalry is actually in a position to bear down on their cavalry now. Thankfully, the uh, Catholics clearly have an indecisive commander. Unfortunately, that does mean the medium guns are predicted. Right, cavalry are advancing out. Well, in that case, that does mean I'm not going to be able to take this uh, advantageous ground, so we will be holding the hill then. And you guys are actually in quite a perilous position. Move to here, fire. Hmm. Yeah, I don't actually like the idea of my uh, commander's shot getting into a melee fight while all this horse is bearing down on them. Get them out of the way. We've got more than enough firepower to even this battle up. Okay, so for the moment, move forward here. I'm going to bring my own uh, musketeers forward. Hmm. Yeah, start with forming up here. Let's see. Hmm. Because their cap their infantry will start to move move soon. Keep a unit back here just in case I want to use it for something. Right, next turn. The medium guns there could be an issue. Yeah, we were never going to be able to take this area of ground in time. That's. Surprisingly aggressive move from the enemy cavalry there. I actually think had I been fast enough, had I just pushed forward, I might have managed to catch them on the slow ground. I'll be more aggressive next time. Because the rough, the high ground here on its own doesn't do a lot for me. I'm planning to move 
charge into melee anyway. Uh, so they'll just follow me down the hill. Right, so we're still on the low ground here. Right, move off in that direction then. We'll come back for, to that. Turn and fire here. Keep the lights battle going. Yeah, I really wish I had made a slightly more sensible set of them. Because I am realizing all of the ways that this does not actually benefit me. Our cavalry, if they want to intervene in this fight, are now going to have to go uphill. Um, even though they're going to have the infantry support. Move past then. I couldn't leave them there because uh, otherwise they would have been able to. But then again, they would have been on high ground. Now, block. What am I doing? So, clearly a difference between what the commander had in mind at the planning stage and what's actually happening here. This is kind of a mess. Hmm, that does help. The main thing is that no one disrupted. Okay, well, other than handling uh, the initial approach to the enemy army is slightly, I mean, completely wrong. We're still, we're still not in too bad a position. Um, let's. We're going to have to turn this group around. They're going to ha have to open fire. Let's work down the line. So, I'm going to open fire, see if I can draw some long range to fire back at our own units. And based on the way they are advancing, they've already withstood quite a bit of fire. So, hmm. That unit's at close range. If at all possible, I don't want to advance into close range fire with the enemy. I want them to, to force them to advance. That way, I only turn up and take a turn of close range movement, range fire from units that have already moved. Um, that's probably a flight that we want to take. Good, they'll fragment next turn. They'll, they'll be off the field next turn. Now, they may counter charge, but in preparation for that, I'm going to be maneuvering around here. Uh, we have the Arc Viziers, but if they try and go for the flank, they are going to be fighting up hell at a 7 to fight disadvantage. And just to put pressure on them, I'll also bring in my guns. And you know what? I'm going to ignore this fight with the command to shot right now, and I'm going to go straight for these Arc Viziers here. Uh, we'll just be firing at them then. Now, there'll be a space opening up here. Um, here actually. So we can come along here and hopefully retake the hill. Well, after these commanded shot will unfortunately get in my way. But that will both threaten this unit and block whatever this force was planning to do. And we're starting to threaten the enemy infantry line. So despite the somewhat shaky start, we're in a strong position. Where has that flanking force arrived? Because if it's on the right side of the battlefield, I don't care. If it's on the left, we are in deep trouble. That's just the residual phase, unfortunately. We've broken them. That's good. This is the advantage of focusing on one flank at a time. Ooh, that was a nasty volley. Good, but we did disrupt them as a result. So they had to advance on us now, because they've been pouring all of that attention into all of their attention to that unit of and shot, my least valuable unit. The salvos have gone almost unchallenged. 
they're all facing the wrong way. This is going to be a disaster for the Germans if they don't shake up. We were lucky that that didn't push them over the edge into disruption. My troops have done a very good job so far. Probably a better job than the commander has. Right, charge. No mercy for them now that they've got themselves into this position. Um, I can't actually move on them yet, but I will sell them the fire. Okay, we get shelled back, of course. Yep, just mercilessly bombard those Arc Viziers. And, uh, yeah, take the high ground. From this horse who so carelessly lost it. Unfortunately, I can't turn, but I'll turn next turn. They, uh, they might be able to lock down the flank attack here, actually. At least we have the high ground here. Anything else I can do? Already fired there. Keep them under pressure. We'll have to wait and, because I can't move past until they turn, to, turn their facing. Ooh, that's a nice line. Hope for a pa Well, let's think about this. Um, yeah, rake them with fire. Okay, so at least we can now cause them some casualties this turn, which will make my charge all the more dangerous. And fingers crossed, we get we get a disruption. We might cause a panic and break this unit, in which case that entire line will hold. Right, next turn, I like I like the way this is going. <laughs> oh, you just hate to see that happen. Mm, we fragmented very quickly there. To be fair, that unit's already been under a lot of pressure, so it's not really their fault. The infantry have abandoned their cavalry to their base. See, that's now changed the dynamic there because I'm uh, going to have to try and save my infantrymen. They disrupted though, that's going to help. Right, okay. I'll decide I'm just flat out ignoring this battle between the lights now. I'm going to go to the fragmentation on the cavalry. I got the fragmentation on the cavalry. And I can't actually exploit it because of the uh, charge priority charge target rules. Sorry, not enough venom. The priority charge target rules. No, why did you do... Oh, God. Right, they will pursue. They might pursue into that unit. Pray that they do, because if they decide to be quote-unquote disciplined and stop running, they're going out to get flanked by the like, shot units. And they really don't want to lose any of the valuable uh, Swedish salvo shot this early on in the, ba in the campaign. Um, hopefully, at least, that means this unit will survive. No guarantee is they might get hit by nailed by the cannon. Speaking of cannons, will this unit hold out for the moment? Okay, take the guns. There we go, that's one less thing to worry about. And we'll get the flank attack next turn. We we're going to get it next turn anyway, so this doesn't really leave it set us back in the infantry battle. Good, they are still pursuing, maybe they'll pursue through all this mess. Openly turned and went into something. Oh, thank God. That was scarier than it needed to be. I'm gonna get blown to bits soon.
Not much left of this commander's shot. I want to win the battle quickly now, as the longer this goes on, um, the more casualties I'll sustain. More casualties they'll sustain as well, but uh, it's going to get worse for me and better for them the longer they can hold out against me. Break the guns, just take everything. Mind you, there's not really a lot of point of that strategically, because uh, the guns will break anyway. I think this is our chance to finish it. Good, they break. That unit should go next turn with flank here. Bring it all down. Um, hmm. And uh, just in case they decide they're going to make a heroic lust, you can't turn. You can't turn, of course you can't turn. Uh, priority charge target. I need, right, enough complaining about that, I need to just get better at spotting that. It's over anyway. I could have broken that entire uh, captain's army if I had to. I don't think I was ever in any real danger of losing the fight. I said we did lose a lot of... We did... Well, no. The casualties aren't that heavy considering the uh, scale of the battle. And the German casualties are disastrous. They did it one more turn to maul me, of course. And thankfully they blew it. And that should mean we get one more turn to pursue as well. Nice. Now their surviving units will gain experience, but they'll also lose morale, which will make it easier to break in the future. The enemy has lost heart. We are victorious. We've won our first battle. So we wiped out, looks like about half the enemy force is gone. Took the guns. We lost about, I'd say that looks like about... 10% casualties, so a pretty good battle there for us, and we've now got Franconia under siege. Now this can support uh, 1380, that means we should be able to supply this army plus this army coming in to reinforce. I won't be able to push any further with this army, and I really don't want to take on all of that with just this group, so we'll just move them in here, and we can merge them next turn. Now, Saxony... <coughs> Bohemia actually doesn't look like it's particularly well defended. So I think with my larger army, we can move straight in and confront them. So they will receive local reinforcements. But as you can see, the odds really aren't that bad. I think we should win this handily. Not going to auto resolve, but we're going to have to go for this. Right. So we've got some cuirassiers. We've not got any veteran cavalry here. But the horse did a good, gave good enough account of themselves. And we've got two Swedish salvage fits in this army. So this should be good. The enemy are upon us. Okay, uh, that's not good. So the, being a higher difficulty level, the game decided that this was too evenly matched for a captain general battle. So it's thrown as a bit of a curveball. We are going to have to hold out until our army actually assembles, which means I want to deploy towards the back of this battlefield. However, decisions, decisions, the best ground for defense is near the front of the battlefield. So I either fight, fight on the hill to give, give myself a bit of an advantage, but also I'll be missing part of my army, or I can um, deploy further back and lose the hill, but I will have a better chance of linking up with my soldiers. Well, let's have a look at this. There's lots and lots of rough ground here. What I'm thinking is as the enemy come forward, we wait in the woods here where we'll have some cover. 
and then we'll emerge to attack them just as they're coming over this ridge. I'll have my commander's shot nearby, they can help to put some pressure on the enemy. Defending the guns may be an issue, especially with the hill on the way, it's going to make it difficult for them to get a clear line of sight. Hmm. Because they wouldn't be able to hit anything on this side of the hill. Because that's 100, that's 200, that, that will completely block their line of sight. So they're not sure exactly what to do about that. Plant them. I guess up here is good enough. Not the best placement for them. Lots of rough ground, which is going to get in the, which is going to hamper the cavalry. Um, but that might help to protect the flanks over here. So we keep the infantry back here, the cavalry back here. What they can do is they can protect our, our flanks while the battle is going on, and hopefully the reinforcements will arrive to shield our left flank in time. I mean, that was a lot of assumptions. Right, let's get into it. Right, they've got their best units over here, the best run pike and shot. Might make a good target for our uh, commander shot. I'm less hopeful about this one despite nominally having better odds. Right. Pike and shot. We're not likely to do a lot of damage to the pike and shot, but we can at least make them soften them up and make disrupts easier to happen. Based on where things are going, we're probably going to encounter. Let's see. We're going to be fighting this unit first, and these units are going to be threatening our flanks. Problem is, is that my cavalry really aren't going to be good against enemy pike and shot units. Drop them back a little bit. Now the plan is that when, as this unit moves to hold this area here, um, our cavalry can potentially block that veteran pike and shot unit. But means I can move this unit onto this square here, and they can hopefully cover these this defile. Things they're going to pour fire into us. This is going to be a difficult one, and I need to hope my reinforcements get here soon. Because of the delay, we are going to get absolutely hammered here. In fact, I'm actually wondering if it's time to consider moving. We do have a hill over here that we can rally around. Um, thing is, that means that the enemy might take the woods there, and that's going to that will completely shut our Swedish salad down. I think this is where the battle has to take place. To be honest, it's not, also not a great battlefield for the Swedes. Right, with the artillery, that well, let's see, we didn't actually hit them last turn, so we, may as, we can always change our minds. No, I'll keep hammering that unit. Same logic applies, I'm not changing it now. With the cavalry. Hmm. See, the cavalry aren't going to be beating these veteran horse units either. What they might be able to do is score is the, the cuirassiers and the horse might be able to score an advantage on this flank. So I'm going to reshuffle things just slightly. Keep the commander shot moving forward and that's just done. The problem with this kind of battle is the AI is also going to be more, more proactive because they're moving from the start of the battle. Right, 
keep hammering them. I've already done a good amount of damage to that unit. I'm just trying to, they'll advance on that line there. Let's see, one, two, they'll be here next time. They probably want their units to be on this line here, ready to pounce. Okay. And that's, we'll drop them back for the moment so they can emerge from behind the hill. And that's us for now. There's also absolutely nothing I can do to protect the precious artillery from here. I just don't have enough resources. Shelling them. Hmm. Yeah, we'll start our attack now. Hopefully they don't get distracted. In fact, you know, hopefully they do get distracted and try to turn their attention on two units of pike and shot. Because if I can veer sheer two units away from their army, then that'll be a huge advantage for me. Next turn. Of course, the danger is they use their horse to chase us down instead, and that would actually be good use for these horse units, given their superiority in you and resources. to peg them a little bit with fire. At least the AI cavalry tends to go uh, a bit out of its way before swerving into your units. Of course that can make it all the more dangerous when they crash into your back if you ignore them long enough. At some point, I will have to spring my trap. Okay. If you move to here and turn, I need to continue to shoot at them as they move past us. And turn. There we go. So they're really going to get it now. Next turn. Please let the reinforcements arrive soon because those cuirassiers are almost upon us. Don't waste your fire on that, those weak links. See, they have the right idea. Yep, that's what I was afraid of. The, afraid they'd do. I have absolutely no desire to play silly games with the cavalry. Just try to avoid them. Close. Hit them instead. Target of opportunity. Hmm, it's worth a try. I did that because it would have been worth the disrupt if we managed to cause the casualties. Sadly we didn't, but there, but there we go. Right, they're starting to approach. When they get to here, when they start opening fire on us, I want to move out and attack. So any minute now, really. business. That's it, they're now within range. So we want to emerge now. Perfect, they didn't go into the rough ground. Because that would have advantaged them as well, frankly. 
one half, well, to be fair, got close range in the range to fire that uh, point blank by a uh, very powerful unit. But it has drawn away their elite foot from the action. And cure up my placement of my cure up capacity here is going to pay up. And the reinforcements are here. Not many reinforcements are here. <sighs> okay. Um, I have to admit, I was hoping for a little bit more than that. Plus some harassing fire, I suppose. <sighs> Try and limp away. Right, announce yourselves. Hindsight, I should have just kept them facing that direction. Now, well, I don't think I would have had much of a choice. There would have been a priority charge target either way. Fire. And since that unit's been taking all the heat, good. We've got an early disruption. That's going to be critical. Now, do I move out the determined horse or do I move out the cuirassier? Pistol. They're both pistol impact and pistol melee. So it's really just a case of do I want to use my superior units over here or the regular horse. Given that they might come under... well, hmm. I'm going to move the, reg the regular horse out actually. And I'm just going to try and keep the situation under control. Because we are going to need something to hold back these veteran horse and the cuirassier are about the only thing that can actually do the job. So I have access to my horse now. I will actually pull this unit back because we're going to reshuffle towards this wing here and we can get that unit up onto the hill so I don't want to block that direction. What I can do is position my horse here and they can, well actually not think about it. We probably want to angle ourselves around. We want to Pull in our flanks. We don't want. I don't. I don't know what I want yet, which is not a good thing on a battlefield where decisions have to be made in a timely manner. I'm trying to decide whether to try and defend my guns against the cavalry attack or whether to just try and defend the infantry's flanks. But then again, the cavalry would just get shot to pieces there. It's a difficult decision to make. We will get to that when we get to that. Okay. Ouch! Scary guns. And we aren't, we aren't in, even into the warp to it yet. Need to hold my unit managed to hold it together. They are superior troops. They're doing a good job of holding on so far. But I just need to get unlucky with one roll and that's us in trouble. At least they didn't move forward. I was afraid they were going to force us to charge that unit of reserve pike and shot with both of our salvo put units. But they've held on and we know what that means. Fragmentation, just as a bonus. Right, so you guys go crashing down the hell into them. And send them scattering. Smash into them as well and they are disrupted. We do have these veteran pike and shot coming forward, so they may present a difficulty going to have to endure some fire here, but it didn't stop us, as you'd expect. Going downhill, we at least have them on even odds here. It doesn't really pay me to start a fight. It doesn't really pay off for me to start a fight here. Bring them in and see if we can throw off the veterans. They're probably going to prioritize getting into the fight. I'm even going to bring back my uh, second commander shot to make a tempting target. Veteran horse. Hmm. We may take some. Well, I've got, I've got flaming cuirassiers coming up as well here. Uh, I really don't think I can save my guns. 
We're going to have a hard enough time surviving on this flank. <sighs> right. Um, I need to support this wing as because well, they're going to be flying into this unit and present a flank, which means I need a unit here covering that square. So as glorious as our initial charge was, this is where the bad stuff starts happening to us. Fire there and go for a lucky crit. Nope. Right, cover that position. Um, I should have moved that cavalry unit first here. We're going to hide in the woods like cowards and say goodbye to our guns. Not the result I would have wanted, but I don't have any other choice. And I think actually with all that pressure melting on us, you'd better take this melee. You do have a slight advantage here. Next turn. Okay, we're starting to fragment. That's probably the pace of battle that we want. Well, they were below average, so what else was expected? And the veterans are going for us. Disperse their guns. At least distracted them for a turn. I still haven't broken here. Oh, that was a vile luck. That was absolutely rotten, horrendous luck. Right, close them in and cover them. Going... Uh. Yeah, hold your position here. It's no fun, but what else am I to do? And they could get, they'll be on our flanks next turn. Not good. Not good at all. Hit them again. You guys limp forward and I guess shoot the enemy horse. You know, it's probably better to take the fire for now. Luckily, you can find. Oh, yeah. This is not going to be a good take for the Swedes. They all hit the guns instead of the infantry. Oh, they turn. They turn their. They turn their facing. That was very, very lucky for us. The fragmentation wasn't there. And they've now been flanked. Cotton. Lovely little box, and it's the Carassiers who have the high ground. More reinforcements have arrived. I don't think they'll be in time. To, I don't think they'll be in time to change the course of the battle. But depending. Oh, oh hell! Oh ho ho! Oh, what an angle to arrive at! Uh, right. Um. Well, that does give us a chance. Um, turn to threaten there, and then at least we can get into an advantageous melee. Oh, come on. There was nothing I could have done about that. Uh.
But who do I want to die to first? Um, turn here and find out this unit later, I guess. There's nothing I can do. There is a flying threat right there, but never mind. Um, make well, at least some th attempt to actually threaten a flank move here. And. Okay, next turn. Well, that's something. Fire fragmented. They've actually got the high ground now. Try to limp away. You can't say we didn't try and keep them away from our troops. Who do you have better odds against? Got nothing. If I'd been a bit more, if I'd had my wits about me, I would have used my commander shots to up light guns, because then that disruption wouldn't have happened, and we might stood, we might still have stood a chance. It's just going to be a bad day all around for that unit of horse. We have managed to disrupt from here. If we somehow manage to win from here, it's going to be a miracle. We have rallied up. might actually be useful if they weren't stuck in the woods. Maybe there's something I can do about that because they're doing absolutely no service here. Um, <coughs> thing is they're also protecting our forces here. Um, okay, we're once again, I need every single unit to be looked after on this battlefield. They are threatened. They are rather stupidly trying to threaten up our uh, reserve pike and shot. You know, I might be able to break them there actually. Um, thing is, we will definitely take fire. Because I don't have, I don't really have anything to concentrate my troops on to rally them. Um, 
And let's see, they're going to have to go through there, and they're probably going to have to fight these two units. So you know what, fine. Um, move around so you're not directly being fired upon. Hit them. And uh, next turn. Fragmentation. I should have just gone for the reserve flag and shot here because if I can break them, then they won't have to go through the pursuit phase. Really unfortunate we were not able to uh, fragment that unit. We've had a lot of opportunities. But there's the quality differential to worry about as well. The enemy have good quality units, and that's going to make it difficult to stop them. Yeah, we're not going to achieve anything against the unit that's all now they've got involved, finally. Still disrupted the now, yeah. But we'll charge into battle here, we should break them. I got absolutely screwed over by this pursuit path there. Why can't you move? It's because of the rough ground there, so they can't actually do anything. They are completely and utterly screwed. Uh, put the shot there on the off -chip. And they disrupt immediately. That was predictable. Continue to limp away. Turn there in the hopes that you might get through there. And phew, yeah, they've already turned around, hit them in the back next turn. So unless they break suddenly, it's over. So, now it's going the other way. I had my doubts about this battle when I saw it. Maybe I should have focused all of my cavalry on this flank because we could have won over here if I had more resources. If I just ignored this, let them take the guns and gone around here to attack, then I might have the chance of once again reinforce the idea that the only way to win these battles is to bring overwhelming firepower to the table. We have at least stopped pursuing, so we might be able to turn there. But that might actually be useful, it might allow me to call. They've disrupted again, because I might be able to use that to keep this unit alive a little bit longer. Uh. Oh, that's good. The thing is, I'm basically sacrificing this unit at that point, but it gives me at least a shot at victory if I come here. So I have to take that chance. Okay. Since you've got the chance, you guys should try to escape. And just tr please try to win that fight finally. Um, I'm going to back these units out of the woods here. They're really doing no good at this point. Disrupted immediately. That was a mistake. They're going to fly and get flanked now. At least we drew them into a bad, a bad fight. See, they're just locking us down there, and uh, yes, we broke them. At least I got that kill. Don't know what their light guns think they're doing. Uh oh. Oh, they fell back. Stay there and defend the rear.
disrupted that unit. If, if we could also break that, there's still a universe where we win this. It's a very, very unlikely universe, but there is a universe where we win this. Hold on. It's because of all the shooting they put the numbers advantage. And they sent the weak they sent the weaker unit off to deal with that. While the stronger unit turns to deal with the commander shot. That unit has fragmented. I just try to protect what's left, I'm not going to give them an easy victory. Um not willingly, anyway. We've only got five turns remaining, so if we can if we can eke out a draw, that would be something. I say we book it to the, over to here. Uh, we just don't want nothing to do with the situation. Um, I might come back uh, if they choose to go after my Karassiers. Actually, I think that was probably a mistake. I should have held on. We've broken them here. Four turns remaining. I think for the moment you just try to survive. All of that turning towards my one remaining unit of speed of salva, that is quite intimidating. So if any of my units break now, it's over. But wouldn't it be glorious if they could hold on? Hold them, see if you can hold them there. Keep limping off. If you rally up, you'll be able to escape. Turn, if we can, we might be able to intervene here in some form, even if it's just preventing a flank attack. I think they actually had movement. Had their movement left. Mm, yep. I could have moved them out of the way, but yeah. <sighs> See, and that's something I would have missed the field of glory to. I need to start using this next unmoved. If I used that, I would have seen that happening. Thing is, they're already disrupted, so they're going to take that flank attack extra hard. We're because of the guns, I can't actually pull back. We would. We were so close, we might have survived had that not happened. And I think we would have survived, in fact. So I'm owning this. This is this was not impossible. This is a defeat for me. Um. They might actually turn out that they would have caught the horse anyway, but no, I'm owning this. There were things I could have done differently in this battle that would have uh, seen this not happen. Or at least not be as bad. Concentrate the cavalry over here. Use the uh, move tool and... Um, I'm going to start using it every turn, even when there's nothing, no reason not to use it. Uh, just to make it a virtual. 
because otherwise I will forget. We don't have any units left to rally up. Okay, we're... <laughs> ah, you've got to you've got to love it when stuff like that happens. Two turns left, but they're going to auto bank this turn. Um, Well, it was that or got auto broken. Um, if I could present this unit in such a way that it poses a flanking threat, then maybe I can basically bamboozle the AI into doing something stupid. But uh, they can actually dart out the way for one more turn. We got really close to drawing this. All right, let's just finish this. Oh, they got out. Also broken at the last minute. this. Right. I'm going to make that my homework for next time. Start using this button. Well, let's just bring things back to the campaign screen. Um, we lost... Yeah, we're going to lose a lot. Um, 16. That's more than half of our army. That's a worse defeat than the Germans suffered. Right, merge those two units together. And that's where we're going to have to leave it, folks. I've I've been Napoleon Complex, um, and that was my that was the first campaign in Quake and Shot. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing if you'd like to continue to follow the series and uh, watch other content related to Slytherin games and later on the Total War series. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Farewell.